the lens I'm viewing this entire conversation through yeah is an evolutionary lens got it and my conjectures that human beings are becoming better looking more intelligent and more empathetic as time passes yeah. uh and this is also based on the fact that you hear so many young parents say that hey you know my children they were way more advanced than we were when we were that age and you actually see that i'm sure you have a nephew or a niece yes. i feel that with my nephew and niece yeah um they just cut above what we were what does that say about where the human species is going see obviously i understand this whole angle of they have google they have ai you know that whole generation beta thing that they're going to be the first generation born within the a world, world governed by ai so obviously those children are going to get some other fiery level of education and a fiery level of perhaps mental health issues because of an overactive brain within childhood like you know this whole narrative about how preteens are dealing with anxiety now we didn't know the word anxiety when we were preteens so how far back will that anxiety start happening now to generation beta they'll probably have to navigate through a lot of their own minds earlier in life but i'm curious to see what gen alpha and beta are as people in their 30s when you and me are like 50 60 years old so in a way there's no way to answer that but loosely speaking we can kind of see the trajectory of where the human species is going yeah we can speculate because one of the reasons for anxiety is that we are getting in more information than we know what to do with mm. right so that way i feel that our generation was at a disadvantage because when we were growing up when our brains were developing we didn't have access to that much information because i remember spending the first 13 to 15 years of my life reading child craft and enid blyton and there is a certain rate of information transfer that can happen from books right and of course i would watch movies and all that but then the internet came and even when the internet started it wasn't this flood of information that happened when i was 25 to 30 and in the last 5 years the amount of information that i have received through scrolling on instagram and you know on youtube has been more than probably all the rest of my life put together so i would say that my brain is not really wired to deal with such an information flood now it's an interesting question that what if somebody born today will their brain at the age of 1 2 3 because they've grown up with ipads because they've grown up with such a world would they be better off or worse off than us so far what i have seen is that they would be worse off because the way that the internet is structured is that any kid growing up with an ipad as soon as the ipad is taken away i have seen the baby start crying i have patients in my opd the parent will come in but because there's nobody else at home they'll bring the kid and the kid is nose deep into a mobile and the kid is two and it can barely hold the phone but then it's just looking at youtube videos and in the middle the mom would just take the phone away and the kid would start bawling and crying and soon as the phone is back the kid is like that i fear that this behavior pattern will lead to serious attention issues and that is what we are seeing playing out also the reason that adhd and uh, these sort of problems are increasing is because your brain is now not wired to pay attention to one thing that is not this level of stimulating because if this level of stimulus is the new normal reality can never compete with it so i feel that if my if i have to predict i feel that there will be a correction which has already started so in places like australia social media is now banned for people for kids under 16 i think that is going to be the norm we are going to have to protect children from over exposure to this level of stimulation from an early age because that developing brain needs to be protected hmm. i think there will be a correction on this and people will kind of be more into physical activity nature yes they have to be similar to how uh, kids were kids were given um, uh, cocaine and opium 100 years ago uh, for even kids with some cough they were given stuff like this because at that time heroin was given to kids because at that time they thought ki ha chalo shant ho jayega bachcha 
but then you very quickly realize how harmful it is and now it's unimaginable right but at one point it happened so i think something similar will happen with social media where right now we're still figuring out and adults are realizing it's harmful and for kids i feel there will be a shift where kids will get protected if you enjoyed today's clip make sure you check out these curated playlists that we've made especially for you related to the subject that was spoken about in this clip